I'm here at Tactical Firearms in Houston, in Texas. I'm with the owner, uh, Jeremy Alcee. Uh, Jeremy, how has business been in this gun store since the Sandy Hook massacre? We've increased our sales four to five times. We were doing about a million dollars a month, and we started doing a million dollars a week uh, until we sold out. Uh, right now, it's impossible to get guns and ammunition. This pattern has been seen all over America. Why? Why are people reacting to such an appalling massacre by racing out to buy more guns and ammunition? Well, I can't speak for any other state but Texas. Uh, I know that my customers feel that they're going to be banned, and so they feel that they need to go get it now while they still can. What are the most popular selling of the guns? Anything right now with over a 10-round capacity semi-automatic, because that's what the rumor is that they're going to try to ban. Do you think those are the kind of things you should use in self-defense? For self-defense for your home or self-defense of your property? Your home. Uh, for your home, I like shotguns just because you don't have to worry about missing and the, the pistol or rifle round going through sheetrock and killing an innocent loved one in your own house or even a neighbor outside. Uh, here in Texas, you know, sometimes you live on 10, 20 acres. Uh, you've got coyotes, pigs, um, and so a shotgun wouldn't be very effective. Do you believe any guns should be banned? I do not. Why? It's not guns that kill people. Uh, th this is the case, and we need to ban alcohol because alcohol kills more people than guns 20 times over, 50, I don't know the statistics. But do and you believe that the more guns there are in America, the safer the country is? In the hands of right people, yes. Yes. You know, if you're going to do anything, I, I agree that, you know, people that have uh, mineral retardation or violent, you know, felons, those people should not have guns. They shouldn't have the right to vote. They shouldn't have any rights, in my opinion. But law-abiding citizens, you should be able to do whatever you want um, as far as gun purchasing. Okay, well, look, let's fire some of these weapons. Um, what are we going to start with? Start with the JP Enterprises, semi-automatic, AR-15. Um, every time you pull the trigger, one bullet comes out. And this is a pure, unmodified semi-automatic? It is. So there's no one's done anything to this. I haven't tried to flip it into an automatic. It's no. A, it's a, it's a bog-standard, if you like, AR-15. Right. Which is, to remind the viewers, this is the weapon that's been used in the last five mass shootings in America, including Aurora and Sandy Hook. Okay. What is the, the, the magazine is how big? How many books? This is a 30 round capacity, 30. pretty standard. And that's perfectly are. legal? Yes, it is. Okay. Yes. So all this is perfectly legal to any American Correct. who's not a felon or has a history of mental illness? Correct. Okay. So. Weapon's ready to be charged. Mm -hmm. Weapon is on safe. Okay. Go ahead and shoulder the weapon. Keep your finger out of the trigger until you're ready to shoot. Finger out of the trigger. Mm -hmm. Okay, when you get your sights lined up, take it off of safety. Mm -hmm. And then go ahead and shoot. Wow. That's the cool rate. Jerry, come in at about <clears throat> so 300 rounds a minute. Once I got the hang of it and began pressing the, the trigger faster and faster, it was just firing Blowing. very, very fast. This has a muzzle brake, which stops the rise of the gun, makes it a little bit easier to shoot, makes it a lot louder. But... Somebody who knows really what they're doing, how many rounds could they fire in, say, a minute with one of these? Well, you know, only with reload, um, you know, maybe 60 rounds or so. 60 rounds a minute. Right. Yeah, I mean, the, the cyclical automatic. rate's 330 or so rounds a minute, 400 rounds a minute. Sorry? Uh, the, cic the true cyclical rate, if you had unlimited magazine, then it could shoot about 400 rounds a minute. So somebody like you, if you had... Multiple magazines. Yes. How many do you In think one minute, um, 200 or so. 200? If I had to guess. You could buy these in Walmart. I mean, do you think that's a good idea? For law-abiding citizens, I think it's an excellent idea. You know, if you live here in Texas, like I said, we shoot pigs out of helicopters. We do things that nobody else does. If you start banning one particular anything, I don't care if it's a particular type of ammunition, firearm, magazine, where is it going to stop? You give anybody an inch, they're going to take a mile. And so if you're a law-abiding citizen, there should be no more bans on anything. Now you have a, a, a modified version of the AR-15, which I wouldn't mind uh, seeing next if I could. Okay. 
So we are actually a firearms manufacturer. <clears throat> These two weapons. I mean, they look identical to me. Right. Um, the difference is the selector switch, instead of just going from safe to full auto or safe to sim automatic, we have an auto sear that allows it to go full automatic. And that's the only difference? That's the only difference. How, how sophisticated is that? How, I mean, how difficult is it for somebody who knows what they're doing to take an AR-15 and make it like an automatic? Well, you have to dremel out the inside of the receiver. First, you have to have the right receiver. You gotta have a full auto bolt. So there's parts and components. You can't just go to Walmart. You can't just go in your backyard and just make it that way. You have to order parts. But the parts can be bought legally? Yes, they can. So you can buy the legal parts and you could convert it yourself? If you know what you're doing. Well, when you say legally, technically you're not supposed to have the parts and the gun together. But you can buy them separately. You can. So if you're a criminal, you know well, what you're doing. Of course, with the criminal, you could do whatever you want. Okay, let me fire this one. Okay. Let's put it onto automatic mode. Okay. The same Again, thing. Again, a 30 bullet magazine. 30 round magazine. Mm -hmm. Safety's on. You need to flip this twice and make sure that you lean forward into it because it does rise. There you go. Just make sure you lean into it. I mean, to me, they just feel unbelievably powerful. Right. You can see that you were nowhere near as accurate. You missed the target so many times. No, but it, it was, compared... I could feel it just rising all the time. Right. So my accuracy was far less than with the previous weapon, but it, the, the speed of the bullets, the power, all About of it. twice as fast, and that's why they call this, when you shoot one of these, it's called spray and pray. You spray bullets everywhere and pray that it hits the target. They're not very accurate at all. But if you're in a confined area like a movie theater, you don't really care, right? Well, no, you saw the rise. I mean, yeah, you shot over everybody's head. If that room was just full of people, it doesn't matter if you miss a few, you're gonna hit somebody, right? When the guy, the guy at Aurora used a AR-15, and I think he had what's called a slider device. Slide fire stock. What does that do to an AR-15? It allows the weapon, it's even less accurate than this, and it's really hard to actually shoot. I would love to put one in your hands and try for you to but try How many out. bullets does it allow you to fire? Well, it technically shoots about 650 rounds a minute, same thing as a full auto. And, that, and you can buy the slider legally, I mean, you sell them here. Right. Of all the arguments to have one of these, home defense is probably the least plausible from your point of view. For me, in the home, what, what people are talking about is, you know, the way that this world is going, that the military and United Nations are going to come in and try to take our guns. Would you really and, believe that? I don't know. Anything's possible. There's it's, a lot of things in my life. Can you imagine U.S. Marines charging onto your property and trying to steal your guns? I would hope not. But if it's I mean, an executive you, you, order... Jeremy, you're a sensible guy. I've spent some time with you. I hear this all the time in Texas. I mean, I, I gave an interview to a friend of yours earlier with 40, 50 Texans there. And that was the one thing they all seemed agreed on. That uh, Tyranny was about to come their way. But well, I don't see how countries. that's going to happen. You look at all the other countries and it started where we are right now. And it's ended up with no guns. But, but do you think that the American military would attack its own people? If they're forced to. I don't know. I hope not. I hope that that would not happen. But I would think at least 40 or 50 percent would. And do you think that's what many Texans feel about why they would need a weapon like this? They want it because they are law-abiding citizens. Mm -hmm. And they know it's legal to purchase it now. And it won't be legal later. So they'd rather buy it now and be legal than do something illegal because these are law-abiding citizens we're talking about. Show me quickly the kind of weapon that you think would be effective for home defense. Inside your home? This is a typical shotgun. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason I like about this is because it does have a strap here. Yeah. So if someone tries to take it from you, you have two points mm -hmm. for struggle. Um, it's a pump action, so it's not gonna jam. Uh, that's a universal sound for get the heck out of my house. Mm -hmm. So this is a really good, it's a 12-gauge, uh, it's a really good Easy weapon for home defense. It is. Um, you know, you have to hold it down at the waist when you mm -hmm. fire it, because if you do this, you'll bust your teeth out. Finally, this machine down here, mm -hmm. which is, it looks to me like a kind of, you know, military machine gun that you see in all the movies. Um, right. But that, 
I understand, because it was made before 1986 and the last assault weapons ban, that is a legal, legal weapon to purchase. in this country. I could buy that. I need six months of background checks and... It's an ATF uh, paperwork that you have to fill out. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to pay $200 to the ATF to actually fire this, or to actually purchase it. Uh, to fire it costs... It cost me? Um, these run anywhere from twenty-five to forty-five thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. You know, it depends on the make and model. Uh, and what is the rate of fire of one of these? Uh, it's about nine rounds a minute. Chris, if I could have you over on this side to sit on this one, and you sit on that one. Okay. Okay. Go ahead like and this. back up just a little bit. Wrap, put your knees over this. Yep. All right. Okay. Okay, hold on. Keep your fingers off the trigger. Okay. Go ahead and take it off a of safe. I'm going to take it off safe. Okay. You push this down, push it down hard. Okay. okay. Is it one bullet of fire? Or? No. Nope. It's going to keep going as long okay. as you keep it down. Why would any civilian need one of these? This is an investment. Uh, I purchased one of these a while back for about twelve hundred bucks and sold it for uh, twelve thousand dollars and sold it for forty-five thousand. Incredible! Incredible! It's obviously too expensive to shoot. It's just the investment point. Amazing. There's not and many could, of them out there. I could buy that from you. You could. Jeremy, thank you very much. Thank you. Still ahead. I talked to a close friend of America's top sniper who was shot dead on a Texas gun range very similar to this over the weekend. And after the break, I talked to the Attorney General of Texas about his views on gun control. <laughs> Texas Attorney General Greg Abbott has had a lot to say about guns in America and he joins me now. Welcome to you, sir. Thank you. The president today was in Minnesota and came out strongly again for uh, a variety of different measures he wants to bring in through the Senate, through the House, to try and, as he puts it, curb gun violence in America. What was your reaction to what he said? Well, it, it seems to be more show than reality because it seems like on the very same day, the majority leader came out and said that they're not going to pass any assault weapons ban. And so it seems like well, he's he working... Say, he didn't say they wouldn't pass. He said he'd take a look at it. Well, I, I thought he, he made an announcement later today that he didn't think that the United States Senate on the Democrat side would pass an assault weapon ban. So it seems like the president is swimming against the tide of even his own party. Let's go through some of these measures, because I want to see where there's common ground, and then we can argue about where there isn't. Do you support 100% background checks, universal background checks? No, the, the problem that we have with regard to the background checks is the current background checks are not working. Uh, we're seeing so many violations of it uh, that the federal officials are not enforcing. But in, uh, there in were, principle... In, in, the in, principle of universal background checks, do you support that? Well, the, the principle of ensuring that criminals and those who have mental issues do not get their hands on guns are very important. We ha the problem well, what with, about the principle sure. of knowing who is buying guns in America? Because a lot of these people don't show the obvious mental dangers, if you like, until it's too late. What about just the principle of if you buy a gun, even at a, a gun show, there's a record of it, and you have to have a background check. And, and what I'm trying to tell you is that right now, if you go to a gun show, you will have a background check run. The important thing, though, Actually, here's... That's not true, though. Here's the important thing. You will thing. in some cases, but the private trades that go on these gun shows, there's no record. Which, which is a good point. I was hunting last month with a good friend in South Texas. I used a rifle that I would have liked to have purchased from him. Had he had to go through a background check on me, it would have slowed down the purchase and would have hindered people like myself who may want to buy a gun from a friend. I wanted to sell one of my pistols to a friend of mine. Should I have to run a background check on my friend I've known for more than a decade just because I want to sell him a pistol? 
But you can guarantee that every single person at a gun, a gun show in Texas is going to be in the future of sound mental health and isn't going to suddenly develop either criminal tendencies, suicidal tendencies, or murderous tendencies. Can you guarantee that? What we need to do is to enforce the laws and take measures to crack down on violence, to help those with mental challenges, to put the criminals behind bars and prevent criminals from getting a hold of guns in the first place. Would you support a ban on magazines that have more than 10 rounds? Absolutely not. Why? We don't, because look at, look at the Texas border itself. We have more than a thousand miles of border. We have thousands of ranchers who live up and down that border and frequently we have drug cartels coming across the border. Also, How many drug cartel barons and their operatives have attacked people in Texas? <laughs> we have drug cartel members who have shot at law enforcement, who have, who have hit law enforcement oh, with Texas, bullets. Texas Here's, and civilians, I'm talking my about. My point is if they are so brazen, that they are going to shoot law enforcement officers. The, the innocent ranchers have to be fearful, and these ranchers may be hundreds of miles away from but any has law any enforcement. Has any Texan rancher, to your knowledge, ever been confronted with a Mexican drug cartel? Absolutely. There are plenty when? of... Well, sorry, every, every month you'll have... There are these, shootouts all over I can't, Texas I can't involving tell you the, Mexican, Mexican drug cartels well, you said, and Texan farmers? Yeah, you said confronted. The cartels and, and the drug dealers are crossing the border, confronting ranchers on an ongoing basis in the state of Texas. They deserve, under the Second Amendment, to have the ability to meet force with force, which is what the Second Amendment guarantees. And so these ranchers need to be able to protect themselves. Let me add one more thing. You're in Houston right now. Mm -hmm. There are members of the vicious gang MS-13 right here in Houston, mm -hmm. as well as other deadly gangs. People here in Houston have a right to defend themselves from the deadly MS-13 gang. Do you, do you agree with the fact that you can't legally buy, in most places in America, machine guns, you know, warfare-style sure, machine that's, guns? That's, that's you, been banned. Do you support that? Well, th that's a ban that's in place. And Would you support it? We have been fine with that ban. Why? However, Why are you fine with it? Why doesn't that breach your constitutional rights? Well, Because the military can have them. And I thought that your interpretation, as I'm wrong, is you should have whatever everybody else has. Well, the, the interpretation of the Second Amendment, the reason why it was passed in the first place, is to allow Americans to defend themselves uh, from either government forces or other forces that endanger their lives. But if the government attacked you, it would be with the United States military, who would all be armed with machine guns. They are banned from civilian use, yet you support that ban, but you're not prepared to even think about a ban on military-style rifles still in circulation and still legal. Well, it depends on what you mean by military-style. A lot of people use this phrase military-style, when in reality it's, it's nothing more uh, than a semi-automatic weapon that is used even for deer hunting. Some people categorize that as military-style. In this very gun store, I can buy an AR-15, I can buy a slide device over there, which will allow me, in semi-automatic mode, to fire up to 300 rounds a minute. What is your definition of an assault rifle, given I can legally buy that here and kill 300 people in one minute? Well, first, I think that any Texan has a right to be able to purchase one of those weapons. When it comes to talking about limiting our rights, we need to have the right to defend ourselves whenever anyone tries to attack us. Mm -hmm. General, thank, you, thank you very much. Thank you, Pierce. Coming next, I'll talk to two people who believe that concealed weapons and the NRA save lives, plus the Motor City Madman himself, Ted Nugent. Uh, coming now, a man who's got very strong opinions about guns. In fact, it's about everything. He's not afraid to say exactly what he thinks. He is a rock legend, an avid hunter, an NRA board member. He's Ted Nugent. Ted, welcome back to you. Welcome to Texas, and I'd like to start off, Piers, by uh, letting everybody know that everybody I know sends prayers to the Chris Kyle and Littlefield families yes. for that tragic loss. And what a celebration. The heroes of the FBI and law enforcement down in Alabama did the right thing, so that's a great relief. Yeah, and I, I totally uh, endorse both those sentiments. Let's turn, uh, Ted, because you, you're a great figure in this area. Now, you know this area better than anybody. I really enjoy coming to Texas. I love people. Let me see that machine gun smile. You got a machine, a machine gun, gun smile? No, but here's the truth about it. It was an exciting experience. There's no question. And you firing... can't give me a smile? Wasn't that fun? No, but firing, firing weapons like that, they're incredibly powerful. I have never really done it before. It is an exciting experience. I can't deny that. My issue, I want to play you just again. This is the AR-15, not the automatic version. This is just the regular semi-automatic once I got the hang of it. Watch this clip.
Wow. See, here's the thing. This is the weapon that was used at Aurora in the movie theatre, and it was used at Sandy Hook in the elementary school, and it's been used in the last five mass shootings, and I can see why. It was very light, it was easy to use. I had very little training before, maybe a minute's worth of training. Um, and I found it very accurate, and even I was getting an accuracy rate, which apparently is the same as the trained police officers with real fire in New York of about 20%, which is obviously different circumstances. I'm sure in a range they'd be near a 90. We're but... shocked, by the way. Right, right. But look, here's the thing. I don't understand, and I want you to tell me in the least inflammatory way possible, why outside of hog hunting which I get is a problem in Texas, anybody needs one of those? And if the answer isn't very convincing, why the least we couldn't do to those poor families who lost people to that weapon is not just remove those from the equation? Well, a, a number of things. First of all, I've been monitoring your gun debates. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and take it to the bank. You will never understand. I really don't believe you'll ever grasp. What won't I understand? You don't understand that it's a simple, inanimate tool that tens of millions of American families own that have never caused a problem, never had an accident, and will never commit a crime. You have these aberrations that are such a minute percentage. So my prayers are as strong as any... Americans a year get hit by gunfire, Ted. It's not a but minor let, aberration. Let me, let me stop you there, it's because I've been hearing you say this, and you are it's, so full of crap. Listen to me. That, that statistic includes bad guys shot by cops yeah. and, and intruders shot by homeowners. Yeah. So that figure is bogus. Mm -hmm. So you got to if you're no, it's an accurate team. figure. 100,000. No, it's not. It's not an accurate figure. 100,000 Americans get hit by gunfire a year. 18, those include bad guys getting shot 18, by cops. 18,000 of those kill themselves with guns, right? Japan and, has a higher suicide rate, and they're not allowed to get downwind of a how gun. Many people Your got, turn. How many people got murdered by guns in Japan in the last two or three years? We're not talking year? about guns. We're talking about you know, the act of murder. They have the do you care about murders, or do you only care about murders with guns? I, I care about all deaths I don't by think you do. Crime. I think you care about guns. I think you're no. obsessed with guns. No, I'm obsessed. 99.99% of the gun owners of America are wonderful people that right. you are hanging around with here today. Yeah. Perfectly safe, perfectly harmless, wonderful, loving, giving, generous, caring people. Would you leave us the hell alone? Go after the nut jobs, go after the murderers, because I don't know any. We need to lock up the bad guys, and when people show dangerous, murderous intent, which every one of these mass murderers showed, all their neighbors, their family, their teachers, their fellow students, they all knew they were crazy, but Pierce, we didn't stop them because we're worried about hurting their feelings. We have a madman problem in America okay. where they're running around. We have a felony recidivism problem in America. Let's focus on that Ted. together and leave the rest of us alone. Uh, a, I won't leave you alone because it's a debate that has to be had in and America. And we appreciate that because you're the per perfect poster boy to stand up for the things that make no sense at all to okay. common sense well, people. Well, this poster boy will take a break, and when we come back after the break, I want to know from you which of President Obama's 35 ideas for curbing gun violence in America you would support. Tell them there's no legislation to eliminate all guns. There's no legislation being proposed to subvert the Second Amendment. Tell them specifically what we're talking about. Things that the majority of Americans, when they're asked, support. And tell them now is the time for action. That we're not going to wait until the next new town or the next Aurora. President Obama earlier today uh, reinforcing his plans for new gun legislation. So, Ted, a recent CNN Time ORC poll, January 14th and 15th, gun registration now, 69% of Americans supported that. Ban on extended ammo clips, 58%. Ban on semi-automatic guns, 56%. So a clear majority in every case of Americans that you say I don't understand actually agree with me, not you. What is your response to what the president is trying to do? Which of his proposals do you agree with? Well, I think I can frame it best by identifying the scammer-in-chief who claims that 
just to save one life would be worth this. Isn't it worth well, it? He had a chance to save four American lives in Benghazi, and he refused to do so. Now he's sending F-16s to Egypt. So how can you believe this guy? This guy is on record. This president of ours has been voted in by that clueless majority who is so out of touch, they still call magazine clips. They still call personal uh, defense weapons assault weapons, which is a, a, a nomenclature created by the anti-gun okay, agenda. Just go through a few I minutes. don't agree with President Obama on any of Do that Do you agree stuff. with universal background checks? Absolutely not. Why? Because the government doesn't need to know who's got what. Of course Ted, they do. Ted Kennedy was on the no-fly list five times, which I happen to support. Um, but that's a bureaucracy gone mad. You can't trust these guys. I was turned down purchasing firearms a number of times, and I own Class Three weapons, and I own hundreds and hundreds of guns. I've had a concealed weapons permit for 40 years. I've got uh, sheriff creden credentials. And the instant check turned me down down a number of times. It showed but some felony. But here's what's happened to it. You heard the owner of this store early in the show say he's selling four times as many guns and four times as much ammo to me. since Sandy Hook. Maybe to you, maybe to Alex Jones, who was here earlier. Which is fine. I find it an incredibly disturbing reaction to the massacre of 20 young well, children. Not, that's but here's not a reaction thing, here's my to question, Sandy Hook. But here's my question for Pierce. you. Here's the question. Do you think America is going to be safer because gun stores like this are selling so furiously and so much faster weapons and ammunition, increasing both in America? Absolutely. An armed society is a polite society. And again, I told you these statistics before, and they're not mine. They're actually Scotland Yard supported. They're UN supported. They're FBI uniform crime statistics reported that where there are more citizens with more firepower, particularly on their person loaded, concealed mm. weapons per Do you know permit, the two countries? there is a dramatic right. reduction in violence. I saw crime. you say this. So here's the question for you. Do you know the two countries which have the highest per capita rate of firearms per civilian? America and Switzerland, I believe. No, no. Do you know what the second one is after America? Hmm. The Yemen. Well... Are you seriously telling me the Yemen... I is one of the safest places are on Are you Earth. seriously telling you, me... Ted Nugent, are you when you say this kind of bull, and that's what it is, no, you, people believe it. And but, the Yemen are, is not are the you safest country in the to world. Admit, are you prepared to admit that your dream of a gun-free zone in Mexico is working, a gun-free zone in Chicago is working, what about, a gun-free zone what about in countries? all these cities all right, let me ask where you, the slaughter rate let me put is this the highest you. of anywhere, let me give you some countries. including Yemen? Let me give you some countries. Australia, Britain... Japan. They don't have a Second Canada. Amendment, Pierce. Huh? They don't have a Second Amendment. Your Pierce. Second Amendment, Ted, doesn't entitle you to have an armored tank outside or an RPG on your shoulder. You accept gun control already. Are you sure of that? Well, I wouldn't <laughs> want you in a tank. But there are already over 50 gun control measures in this country. We're not talking about bringing in gun control. We're talking about extending it and those to cover gun the preferred measures weapon measures are mass violated by all these perpetrators every time. What makes you think that the 51st law is going to stop this kind of slaughter? Something and I'm here done. to tell you it will not. Ted, I believe an armed society mood, is a polite society. The mood is changing, Ted, and something has to change. But I respect your opinion. I respect you coming down to talk to me. Thank back you. Back you. Ted Nugent, and we'll be back. First. We believe in absolutely gun-free, zero-tolerance, totally safe schools. That that means no guns in America's schools, period. With the rare exception of law enforcement officers or trained security personnel.